All right, everyone, welcome back. Well, pushing for answers for families, Project Cold Case is working to shine a light on unsolved homicide cases. That's what they're all about. So the group features cold cases on decks of playing cards, just like what you see here. Now, this is video of their first deck of cards that was released last summer. All 52 featured cases occurred here in Florida, but gosh, some go as far back as the 1970s and 80s. That's a long time to wait for justice. And the hope in sharing these cases is, is to trigger that long forgotten memory. So Project Cold Case is now releasing a second edition of these decks of cards and joining me is Ryan Mackman, the founder of Project Cold Case. It's always a pleasure to see you, Ryan. It's great to see you, Ashley. Absolutely. So I got you, you've got them in your hands. So second edition of the cards. Can you talk about the success of the first edition? And you know, this is special. It is. And I think, you know, uh, Obviously, the number one goal is somebody comes forward with information and we're able to resolve these cases. But for us as advocates and, and survivors and families, equally important is having our loved ones' stories out there for the public to see and share. Some of these, as you mentioned, have been out of the public eye for decades. And, and we're bringing them back and we're putting them in the hands of the public where at least, at the very least, these stories, stories are being shared and these victims are being remembered uh, and their loved ones know they're not forgotten. So that's a big win for us anyway. Uh, your story last year actually kind of went viral yes, on these did. cards. So uh, we had such an outpouring of support and requests for other victims to be added that we made a commitment basically uh, to continue producing these decks of cards as long as funding allows. Um, so that everybody that has submitted their loved one to Project Cold Case gets their day uh, with their loved one on a deck or on a, on a face card. And we know there's tens of thousands of cases, but you know, a, a very nice woman actually reached out to us here at News for Jax earlier this week. She told me that her mother's case is featured. We do have a picture. Are we able to pull it up here? Nancy Canode, there it is, right it there, is. this beautiful lady you see right here. She was killed in 1981 in St. John's County, right here in our community. Yeah. So, so with Nancy's, mother, uh, Nancy's case in mind, what does it mean to these families when they see their loved one featured? Well, it's, it's hope. Um, it's, it's knowing that their loved one is not forgotten and it's knowing that someone else cares. And, and a lot of times that's what these families need more than anything, even more than the resolution, is knowing that someone else cares. Uh, in this case with Nancy Canode, I mean, her, her daughter, one of her daughters passed away last year. Um, you know, you, 1981, you're getting further and further away. The case is not getting any better. You know, there's nobody going to come forward. They have a suspect, um, but, but the case is not going to get any better. And, and the, if the, the government or the uh, state attorney is not going to take that case on, the families need to know somebody out there in the community cares. And that's where we step up and make sure that they know that. And Ryan, we have about a minute left, but um, you know what this is like personally, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, my dad was murdered in uh, 2009 um, here in Jacksonville, and his case is still unsolved. Next month will be 14 years. It's hard to believe it's been that long. Is there going to be a third edition of cards? Yes, yes. Our goal is to expand them. These are also all Florida cases, uh, but we have a lot of families we serve outside of Florida, so we're looking at ways to expand the cards um, and keep doing it as long as families want it. We want to be able to provide it. I have just one real quick question. If somebody wants to get their hands on a deck of cards, maybe their business, pass them out, what do they need to do? Just come to our office, call our office. Uh, we'll give them to you. We're actually not allowed to sell them with the funding source, uh, but we will hand them out, especially to businesses that have lobbies and waiting rooms where people will just be able to put their hands on them and look through them. And just remember, each name on these cards is a life. That person has a family who is waiting for answers, you can be the one to make the difference. Absolutely. Ryan, it's always a pleasure. Great to see you and thank you. Thanks for having me, Ashley. All right, we'll be right back right after the break.